And of course, veterans in the Central Valley are continuing this special trip today. It's all arranged through the Central Valley Honor Flight. Kim Stevens is at the Tomb of the Unknowns at the Arlington National Cemetery. She's there with our local veterans who are seeing this for the first time. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. It's just a stunning, gorgeous morning here at Arlington National Cemetery. The changing of the guard has just occurred behind us. And now this old guard, this honor guard, will be here guarding the Tomb of the Unknown. Began as the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier remains, uh, unidentified remains from World War I. And then below that, also, maybe I'll get out of the way so maybe you can see. I know the sun is kind of in the way of the shot, but on the, on the ground here, you can see the guards. And this is the changing of the guard. Let's take a moment. In front of the crypt of the unknown soldier, you'll see on the ground three large slabs of marble, and they are the crypts of the unknowns from World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Uh, this is the changing of the guard. We will be witnessing this with the veterans as they are coming in right now off of the buses. Uh, I, I want to give you some perspective on the old guard, He's who, who you are seeing here. And I'm lucky enough to have Tom Reed. He is one of the volunteers who is here on uh, Central Valley Honor Flight. Tom, can I bring you on over here? He is a guardian here, but he used to be a member of the old guard, or maybe always is, huh? Always, yes, once always. You did this? No, I did not walk the Tomb of the Unknowns. It's a very special group, but I don't think I would have the talent to do that mm -hmm. for the period that they do. Well, then what else do members of the Old Guard do? Well, we're the ceremonial unit of the Old Guard. We do uh, dignitary uh, arrivals and departures, uh, and uh, we also do funerals here in Arlington National Cemetery. And, uh, and during the two and a half years that I was here, I probably did somewhere between four and 500. I was a uh, one of the firing party that fired the three volleys. Mm. Truly hallowed ground here. It is. It's a special ground. I was stationed uh, at Fort Myer, and uh, I could walk about 100 yards from my barracks and be at the back gate of Arlington mm. Cemetery. Mm. Is this one of the greatest honors you've ever had? It really is. I grew up in Fresno County as the uh, son of migrant farm workers, and uh, when I came in the Army and to uh, actually be selected here, it was, it was real special. Well, it's really an honor to have you here to be able to share some insight on the old guard, but also as a guardian uh, to another amazing veteran here. Yes, yes. Uh, he's a, we attend church together, and uh, when I spoke with him about a year ago, I asked him if he had uh, made his application in, and he said no, he wouldn't, but I said, I'll go with you, okay. and he said okay. Well, let's bring him on over real quick. Tim, can you come on over? How has the, uh, how has the trip been for you? It's amazing. I really was looking forward to this. I uh, had been here once before, but uh, of course years go past and I've forgotten a lot of stuff. But I was especially interested in the uh, Korean Memorial. Yes, you served in the Korean War. Yes, and w what interest I had in that was the etching on the marble walls mm -hmm. at the Korean Memorial, mm -hmm. the faces of soldiers that actually served there. Mm -hmm. Of course you can't identify who they are, but um, it, it was just an astonishing thing to me to see that. Did it bring back memories you wanted to remember? Or has it been troubling ever since? No, I haven't been bothered by any, anything. Uh, I, I had a good, good duty there. I didn't see any combat, but um, I was placed in responsibility and, and yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. 
You still served. You were an auto mechanic, and uh, and you volunteered, and you gave, uh, and your whole family sacrificed while you were there. That's true. That's true. They sure did. Thank you very much for your time today. You. We appreciate it. Um, talking as quietly as I can because, uh, well, this is a, a very important ceremony. The members of the Central Valley Honor Flight are just coming into place, and we will be seeing not only another changing of the guard here at the Tomb of the Unknown, but something exceptionally special is going to happen, and it is very, very rare opportunity, and that is that two veterans and their guardians have been, well, received the honor to be able to present a wreath to the Tomb of the Unknowns. Uh, it's a very rare thing for these veterans here on the Central Valley Honor Flight, uh, but definitely something that we will be watching with awe and wonder. And uh, as that is about to begin, I need to sign off here. It, gentlemen, do you have any questions at all uh, here from Arlington National Cemetery? Uh, is the emotion as palpable there as we're seeing here? I mean, th th I got a lump in my throat watching your entire report. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, it's it's been an emotional but fun time. Everyone is very open to share stories. After this, we will go to the women's uh, veterans memorial, and there are some local women who are part of this one who is even a founding member of it. And we'll also go to the Air Force Memorial, and that looks to be absolutely stunning as well. And then after all of that, and I know a box of tissue, we will be getting back on the plane in Baltimore and heading home. We would love to see you tonight around six o'clock to welcome these veterans home. Live from the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier here at Arlington National Cemetery, Kim Stevens, Fox 20 Six news. All right, thank you, Kim. Uh, amazing job she's doing there, an amazing job those veterans did. We thank them for their service so no, much. And, and it's a well deserved trip because um, we have so many uh, soldiers that many of them never had the opportunity right you know to go see it but it's a wonderful program and hopefully it can continue to be funded and they'll continue to be able to go and see uh, the wonderful memorials there in Washington absolutely 